once I'm in there, 30 seconds, feeling pretty good. Um, but staring at the door, especially when the ground is frozen, pulling ice out of the bath, sometimes I'm smashing it to be able to get in there. That's the hardest part. And you feel great when you get out. And you look like a lobster. Let's go to school. Let's go to school. Let's go to school. So this is what the behind the scenes looks like when we are filming content. Alright Kai, what are we doing here? Planting plants. We're planting plants? What kind of plants? Cookie plants? Yeah. Vegetables. We are getting our vegetable garden started with the seeds. So we're going to get those planted in some dirt, get them sprouted and ready for spring. Hopefully. So I just wanted to wrap this video up discussing two things that I've gotten a lot more consistent with over the past few weeks and the benefits that I've seen from that. And those two things are cold plunges and cardio. Um, cold plunges are something I haven't been doing a whole lot of because we used the main plunge, our stock tank, 
for our chickens last year and then uh, it just skeeved us out jumping back in that thing so we power washed it we bleached it we left it out in the sun for the uh, just uv detoxification there um, but we just couldn't get ourselves back in it and obviously the shower is very convenient you don't have to go outside you get out of bed you jump in the shower you start your day um, so a few weeks ago we bought another stock tank so we've been able to do that and being that it is winter up here that's actually freezing naturally um, so we're not buying, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of ice every week or every other week. Um, it's just cold. It's been as low as 33 degrees. So when I've got three or four inches of ice crusted on the top, I have to hammer through. And then on the warmer days, it's been up to 37. Um, we had a couple of days where it was 50 degrees out for the, for the day. So it was up to 40 degrees for a couple of days. But for the most part, it's been 33 to 37 degrees, which is significantly colder, colder than the, uh, the effect that I was getting from the shower, which is you know, maybe 50 degrees, usually probably closer to 55 degrees. It's coming out of the well. Um, so that is something that I, I hate doing first thing. Um, but I almost crave it because I know when I get out, what that feeling looks like. And it's, uh, it's almost euphoric. It's an insane calm. And I just wasn't getting that from the shower. Now the shower is something I was still doing every single day, religiously jump out of bed, wash my face, brush my teeth, jump in that cold shower because it does pick me up. It gets my day started. And I just feel really good before I even get to that coffee a couple hours later. This was an entirely new level. And I kind of forgot that. Um, just going through true cold water submersion. Um, and then at the, the temperature that it was, obviously getting down to 33 degrees. It is a huge mental hack for me to be able to dread something so much. Know the benefit that I'm getting from it. And getting through that period. So once I get out, just you know that euphoric effect that we were talking about before. Um, and then the other other thing is cardio. Cardio is something that I actually had to you know write down for a couple of weeks and check off to make sure I was doing it. Um, not that I wasn't doing it before, but it was usually one or two days a week, fifteen to twenty minutes. You know, just kind of going through a little maintenance protocol with oh, I'm doing cardio, but not really enough to be effective and, and see a true benefit from. It's just enough to kind of check that box off. Um, so this is something where every workout was attached to 20 minutes of cardio, and that was usually a run or a, a ruck. So throwing on my 60 pound weighted vest, occasionally I would do the Peloton and that's something I was doing sporadically before that was kind of my go-to just for convenience. Um, but I have been running or doing the ruck, taking my kids for a walk with that 60 pound vest on and usually ending up carrying one or both of them. So ending up being around hundred pounds. Um, so that has been very consistent, much more consistent than I've been doing, you know, recently. So for the last three weeks, I've been, I've been dialed in with that. And, uh, the effects have been tremendous for me personally, just mentally, um, being able to, to handle emotions and staying grounded and staying present. Um, and then just energy wise, so mood and energy, just feeling really, really good. Um, you know, I was reliant on caffeine for a long time and there was a period of time where I couldn't drink caffeine because of uh, my Barrett's esophagus. Uh, my body just wouldn't tolerate it. It would flare up some symptoms. Um, so now caffeine is truly, it's a supplement. I don't need it. You know, I'll do it before a workout, have a cup of coffee or, uh, if I'm not training that day, it's, you know, picks my, my attention up a little bit further, but I'm not reliant on it. Because of those two things, it has been an absolute game changer. Um, you know, not even focusing on, you know, physical benefits of what that's doing. Literally just talking about energy, vitality, um, mood, and just feeling good throughout the day. Those are two things that I put back into my routine. They become non-negotiables. The ice plunge is a daily non-negotiable. The cardio is four to five days per week. I usually take one to two days off, sometimes three, but again, I'm getting over an hour of level of zone two cardio in, um, and typically I'll finish a run with a sprint. So sometimes I'm spiking that a little bit further. Um, but just going to show you the benefits of making sure you're well-rounded, you know, it's not just eating the foods, the healthy foods, the clean foods, the nutrient dense foods. It's not just training three or four days a week or five or six for some of you. It's not just taking the walk. It's not just going for the run. It's not just meditating. It's a culmination of all those things. Um, and that's why we have the SDE method. It's the five pillar method, training, nutrition, mindset, movement, and habits. When those things are all done together, the benefit is exponential compared to what happens when you do one of those things and you're consistent with one or two of those things and those consistencies rotate. So sometimes it's training nutrition. Sometimes it's your mindset work with meditation or cold plunges. Um, sometimes it's movement. So you're eating well and you're taking walks. But if you can put, put, if you can put all those pieces together, 
it changes the game. They all support each other. Each pillar ebbs and flows into the next. Um, and that's why we work with you know, our clients on this, this blueprint. It's not, you need to do X, Y, and Z. It's here are the five pillars. Let's figure out what makes sense to put each of those um, for protocols into each pillar for you specifically. So for those watching, obviously, if any of you have downloaded our guides on our site, SD Evolution, um, we've got some, some outlines there as well. But even just watching a video like this, you know, it's not about jumping into the next challenge and, you know, what can I do for the next week, two weeks, one month? It's what can you build into your lifestyle consistently? Now, I mentioned I've been doing this for the past three weeks consistently. Um, that has entailed me writing those things down and physically checking those boxes every single day. It's a little self accountability. Um, but I'm not just doing this for the, the past three weeks and finishing out the month. I committed to it so I could feel the benefits, understand how much better I feel because of it. And that's just self reinforcement, self re, uh, self motivation to continue doing it for the long term. So hope you guys got something out of this. If you enjoyed, please like subscribe, share the video. Uh, I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next one.